Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to swap or move columns around, or basically rearrange them. I've got a five column data set here, and it's fairly easy, but I'll show three examples. And the last example is probably going to be the one where we would have a lot of columns and moving around with the other two examples is probably not going to be as ideal. But let's say, for example, you've got a boss or a client or a stakeholder and they want to rearrange the table or the range of data that you have because they're essentially your customer, right? And so maybe your data set is not in the order that they want. So the most easiest way we can do it is cut and paste, right? So all you need to do is we can take a column here, control X to cut, and then here, right click, you can go insert cut cells and it's gonna put it there. Now that's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you had a small table data set, that's not that bad. Control Z to undo that. That's the first way you can do it. Now the second way we can do it is using the shift key. So I'll select my column, press the shift key, wait till my cursor turns into a four headed arrow and move it around. That becomes the first name there. Maybe I want to move this one, select that column, press the shift key and move this over here. And now I've moved that around and that's pretty simple to do too. And now we've got a small data set. And so that's easy to do. Control C to undo that one. Now the third way we can do it is using a new dynamic array function called sort by. Now this one's kind of nice because actually it kind of keeps your original range data and you can put this onto a different part of the sheet or a different worksheet and you can kind of simulate what you want your columns to look like. All you need to do is kind of figure out what order you want it. Let's say for example I want this order to be the first order so that's going to be first, last name going to be second, maybe I want that to be third and email or well, maybe gender fourth and email fifth, right? And so I select that order there. So here in another part of the worksheet, I'll just type sort by. So what sort by does is it sorts your array, right? So like if you wanted to sort first name, last name by ascending or descending, this is what it can do. But it can also sort your columns in an order. So this is how we would do it. Just select the range here. That's your array. That's your first argument. And then how do you want to set? How do you want to sort by the array? Well, we're going to sort by this order: the first order here, second order there, third, fourth, fifth, etc. So I'm going to select that, and I'm not going to do any sort order. I'll just close parentheses, press enter, and now you see that it's sorted. First name, that's the first one here. Second one is the last name, full name, gender, and email. Select that, double click the auto fit, and you can see that it's sorted. And the beauty about using sort by is it's dynamic. So what you can do is you can change it. Maybe I didn't like this order. Maybe I wanted first name first. I'll type one. This will be two. This will be three. Uh, maybe I'll do this four and this one five. Press enter. And you can see it's changed it on the fly. Let me select that double click to auto fit again. And if I'm satisfied with this, all I need to do is select my range of data, control C to copy, control V to paste. And I'll just paste special here and I'll paste the values and the formula disappears, right? And so that's done there. And so this is the way that we can do sorting by column. So if we were brainstorming with someone and they wanted to kind of look at the different column sorting orders, you can do it there with the sort by feature and not worry about it messing your original data. Control Z to, un listen, Control Z to undo that. And we can keep doing it here. Now this is a small data set, but if you had a larger data set, it would be kind of nicer to do it this way. So those are three ways of sorting data. The first way was cut and insert cells. The second way was using the shift key and just using the mouse to move the columns around. And the third way using this nifty sort by feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.